Letterbox is a website kind of a little bit sort of like IMDb where you can rate movies, write reviews on them that no one will read. And today we're actually going to be reading some of them reviews. This is an account called Insane Letterbox, which uh, basically compiles all of the best reviews. Joker, four stars. This happened to my buddy Eric. I liked the film, but I put that rating because my wife was killed. What? <laughs> what in general or while watching this movie, what does the movie Black Christmas have to do with your wife? death <laughs> free spider-man's rumors and there wasn't even one <laughs> So someone has rated Santa Claus is Coming to Town from 1970 half a star with the review, been drinking since 11 a.m. So this didn't make any sense. I'm sure the filmmakers will take that review into account if they make another one. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, one and a half star. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is the best Christmas movie of all time. I'm not having it. I'm not having How the Grinch Stole Christmas 2000 slander on this channel at all. It's the best Christmas movie. Very bad. No, it's not. But it is one of the few movies to show a man sucking a dog's asshole. So that's something, I guess. I don't remember that bit of the movie you know there's gonna be clarification in the replies sorry it shows what there's a scene where the grinch sticks his dog's arsehole up his childhood buddy's sleeping face and he kisses. oh yeah i remember that bit i remember that bit so this is a five star review of rio 2 i fucked every bird in this i mean Nice. Transformers, five stars. Bro, this movie has generous, sweaty Megan Fox armpit for the first 20 minutes. Then the most badass shit ever happens for the rest of it. And there's a fucking Mountain Dew Transformer that shoots Mountain Dew. Ca Transformers was a weird movie, wasn't it? Well, that whole franchise is just so strange because it's just like there's product placement like every two minutes in it. Each of the Transformers movies are just like two hour long commercials. No time to die, four stars. Trigger warning, there is no cock and ball torch. I tell you, I was very, very disappointed with the lack of cock and ball torture in No Time to Die. And that's why I think Casino Royale is significantly better. Oh, this person did not like Love Actually. They gave it half a star. Only 30 minutes and it's possibly the most repulsive movie I've ever seen. They really thought they had something great. Fucking kill yourselves, despicably British film. Who, who are they telling to off themselves? Are they t are they're telling the, the director, the, the cast, the people watching it and enjoying it. A review of Trump versus the Illuminati, which is a movie I, I did not know existed. The scene where Trump break dances in front of a group of aliens in Mars that was true cinema. I highly recommend this film and he only gave it half a star. I need to look up this. Surely that's not a real thing. Turn around and raise your hands. If you insist. Computer, play Trump's favorite playlist. Wow. I, I can see what they mean. <laughs> Spider-Man No Way Home, half a star. Didn't even see it. It's just hate seeing Marvel fans happy. West Side Story, five stars. My crush rejected me, but good movie. Well well done. You're very brave for not letting your um, your emotional distress influence your review of the movie. Star Over Wimpy Kid, 2021, up with two stars. Around the 12 minute mark, a kid absolutely froats the water fountain and that's the only reason why I give it an extra star. I have to see this myself. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. 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 He like he like chewed it. Watch the rest of the movie if you really want to, but I'd, I'd encourage you to, to see that for yourself. <laughs> Movies I never got to watch because my dad traded custody of me for our TV. Four and a half stars. One of Jim Carrey's best comedies. Maybe the best. I really miss him as an actor. I hope he's not going to end up killing himself like you know who. Right, a review of jo Joker 2012. That's not the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. But someone's reviewed this anyway, saying, Nice move, it's starring Joaquin Jin Felix. Great story, great execution, excellent shoot, and make fantastic performance from Todd Phillips. Favorite movie of the year. Did don't watch with parents, though, because there is the kissing scenes. Ha <laughs> ha, fucking. So it's a, a review of uh, Scooby-Doo, Pirates Ahoy. There is a scene where Fred looks hot. I will forever remember that scene. That smirk. I'm gonna have to look up an image of Fred from this. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, is it this one? It's probably that. Free guy, one star. Got pulled over for speeding on the way to see this, and I wish the cop killed me. I honestly quite enjoyed Free Guy. I thought it was all right. Santiago, four and a half stars. I've never watched Santiago, nor do I ever believe that I will have the time. This rating is for American Horror Story Freak Show. Oh god, this is a long one. Dodgeball, a true underdog story. Three stars. My fiance saw my last review about me showing this to all my ex-girlfriends in high school and wanted to watch it. I made a promise not to leave me afterwards like every other girl in my past. She agreed. After the movie, however, she changed the locks of our apartment and sent me a text. That movie was horrible. Enjoy being alone. I lost everything. Now all I have left is my DVD copy of Dodgeball, a true underdog story, unrated edition. 
edition. At least you have that. Be grateful. I don't even have a DVD copy of Dodgeball and a true underdog story unrated edition. Squid game, half a star, no squids. Dune. Pretty sure my friends left to have sex in the bar from halfway through this, which kind of ruined the whole vibe for a minute, but good watch nonetheless. Nice cinematography, a bit boring story I've already forgotten. Same, I can't remember the story to Dune. It's just like... They kind of just walk about a sand planet, don't they? Plus, wishing there was more of Zendaya. I thought there was going to be more of Zendaya. She was in it for like, what, probably all of 10 minutes, if that. I didn't really like Dune that much. I thought it was all right. Dune was one of them movies where I was like, I'm glad I saw it in the cinema because it was just, it's just a movie that looks pretty. But you need to focus on everything to do with it. They'll reference characters in the middle from the beginning. And this movie's like, like, like two and a half, three hours long. It's like, oh, who the fuck is that? That could be like... 10 different people. So there's a lot to remember. There's a lot to follow. I like my simple movies. Another one of June. The guy sitting next to us at the theatre was definitely making a bootleg and I hope that when people watch it on 123 Movies and get to the scene where the sandworm first appears, they hear my boyfriend say, the forbidden butthole. Muppets Haunted... They made a Muppets Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion is a banger film. Underrated. Underspoken about. Gonzo is so, <laughs> so hot in this. Another one of Muppets Haunted Mansion. Every movie should be Muppet-fied. Muppets Midsummer next i agree with that i think that'd be fucking brilliant <laughs> penguins of madagascar two stars probably the best lgbtq plus film ever made basically every character has strong homoerotic overtones including but not limited to eating at limited to ass eating scenes oh and someone's someone's kindly provided an image in the replies he's enjoying it they definitely didn't do that by accident someone at dreamworks hand animated all of this a movie called romero watch this in my spanish class i only was half paying attention though i was much more concerned with the dude in the front that had gay Mortal Kombat porn as his desktop background. Scorpion and Sub-Zero doing it. The adventures of Elmo in Grouchland did nothing to help me cope with the death of my dog. A review of American Psycho. I'm too scared to get killed by Patrick Bateman. What if he chokes me and I come? Huh. Free guy, half a star, ninja Pokemon. Oh yeah, they, they, both of them were in the fucking free guy movie and now they're beefing why can't the free guy cast just come together and be nice to each other pig 2021 half a star i wish he fucked the pig <laughs> bo burnham inside half a star bully gifted kids oh this will keep happening inside was it was pretty good i'm gonna say not as good as everyone was saying it was it was it was all right it was fine i feel actually i feel as though it's like the rick and morty effect where it was pretty good but it's just like the fans of it fucking ruined it paddington half a star this movie fucking sucks i hope bears go extinct that's all right look at him paddington's so cute why would you say that review of joker i love this movie i love basketball i wish i could play in the nba keep dreaming big all right, a review of wedding crashes i was pretty disappointed by this everyone is saying i love it but it really wasn't very good there were only two coldplay songs it was always like they weren't even trying if this is where modern film has gone to where two coldplay songs is considered good and i'm worried about the future of film it's like there won't be any coldplay and i'm not okay with that oh and that's a review by a coldplay fan understandable review of fast nine i got in a fist fight in the theater and won whoa well done arty penis well done <laughs> teenage mutant ninja turtles two stars got sucked off watching this at a drive-in why, why have you given it two stars it seems like you had a whale of a time if it weren't for those funny looking ninja turtles you might not you might not have got in that situation have some gratitude <laughs> picking this big movie at half a star absolute garbage soy boy movie ticket chad's gang for life i agree fuck piglet fucking soy boy pussy social network half star haven't seen it but i got my third 30 day ban on facebook for typing out fat by accident from this day forward every night at <laughs> witching hour i will dedicate myself to the it's i don't know i'm not even gonna try and pronounce that powers of chaos magic i shall bath the idol of foth in the elixir of my root chakra sit within the crayon kabbalah i scrolled out on my basement floor and transmutate a tumor within the oh, oh, what i love dogs those dogs were so heterosexual but it's like whatever I sat in a theatre and enjoyed symmetry and talking animals for a while. What, what, what the fuck? What? <laughs> Paddington 2, half a star. Apparently this movie is the highest rated movie on some websites or something, but I know it's bad because the stupid bear sandwich looks nasty. Like, holy shit. Is it that hard to put meat and cheese on bread and not your stupid ass fucking England paste? <laughs> <laughs> He got a point. I don't know why he gave the movie half a star due to that. Uh, he got a point. Saw two, four stars. Amanda, please let me put your tits in my mouth. Please, please, please. The thing 1982, an entire generation will call this the Among Us movie. <laughs>
<laughs> it's so true. The thing is basically kind of the Among Us movie. <laughs> Power Rangers, two stars. Cool suits, but they should have explored Zordon's sexuality in more detail. That looks fucking epic. Look at those. I didn't realise they made a Power Rangers movie like that. Holy shit, look at that. Oh, wait, wait have they, do they show a bit with the big dinosaurs? Holy shit, it's like Transformers. Parasite, half a star. I didn't understand a single word. The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, three stars. My grandma wants to fuck Aslan. How did you find that out? Did she just blur it out when you were sat down on the sofa watching it? Just sat down, saw Aslan, and went, yeah, I want to fuck that lion. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did like the video, subscribe if you're new. Check out uh, this account on Twitter. Much like in the description. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.